respectful of that world. Um, I think you, you still have that. That guy, you took, I would buy a record from that guy. <laughs> but you wanted to do this back in the 80s. I did. I, I really did, and I was surprised to learn when the DVD came out that you couldn't do it with the DVD. I thought it was all there, and I thought the quality would be good enough, and it, was, it wasn't really quite good enough, but then you couldn't even listen and watch. You couldn't go through the archival materials and listen to the high-res music at the same time, which is what I thought that most of my users would want to do. So again, we were defeated by the technology. So uh, just recently, uh, we've been able to, uh, well, there's another one of those darn phonograph records. Yeah, we've been able to bring this forward, and we've done, uh, you know, transferred all these original analog masters, uh, so you can hear them in the best quality that's available today. And, uh, and it's really quite an experience. It's very rewarding for me to be able to have done this. But it's not static. It's not what? It's not static. It's not. No, it's no, not, it's not it's finished. Not. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we're never done. We, we, uh, if, if, if we have something new that we find for the first archive volume of the five that are going to be there, which is what coming out now with ten discs in it, there may be something we miss because people are always coming up with new things. So we can add more things because it's Java enabled. We can have you, you know, put it in your PS3 if it's like this one and nobody ripped it off last night like the other one that we had. And, <laughs> And you can put it, you can put your, your new disc in there, or you put your put your disc in there for this, and and the internet will tell you that there's new material available. And if you decide you want it, there it is there, there's a push pin and, and it's showing you where it is, there it is. And that's where your new material is that just got downloaded, and it's part of the deal now. It's sitting there in your player. And uh, right now the PS3 is the best player for that. So and those PS3s are available everywhere, which I think music lovers should take note. You don't have to wait for the, for the uh, Blu-ray players because they're already out there. There's probably a game player like PS3 in your house right now, and they're the best thing to use this on. It's so your library is not going to be limited by the format. It's no. going to be limitless. The network is simply going to connect to these devices and make your entire you know, body of work available. The only the limit, Jonathan, the only limit is the, st is the storage. How much storage will your device handle? And in the future, we know that that's going to keep growing and growing. And so, so, so we can keep adding if we locate new records or new pictures. There it is. But it's a long. Well, this is our archives analog version. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Jack. Yeah, 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 sure. Okay. So this part, the color part here, that's what volume one is. This is this is me here. This is 1963 down here, and there's a little bit over here that we. No, don't have on this. So I, I have a particularly favorite song, um, Rock in the Free World. Where, where is that? Yeah, well, Rockin' in the Free World, I, I think I could find it. Are you still, wait till you get down I'm, I'm, there. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Yeah. Hold it down. You're, you're prolific. <laughs> I'm, 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 You've been a very busy okay. day. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully we're gonna have five volumes, maybe we'll have four. Here it is. We could have six, I might be a medical. Right here. There's, that's Rockin' in the Free right World. Right here, I found it.